Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com. And after a little break, I'm ready to dive back in. So what is this little break that I'm talking about? That would be memory planning. I haven't posted a memory planning video in a while. And to be honest, I just kind of fell off the memory planning bandwagon, but I'm ready to get back on. Gonna play a little catch up, but this week we are memory planning for the week of March 20th through the 26th. I'm gonna pull out this kit from the Hip Kit Club. It is the last one I received and I'm super excited to work with it. I have all my pictures printed out. Just so you know, I always link all of the supplies I use to print my pictures at home, including the photo printer and the app that I use on my phone to print directly from my phone so I get my pictures in this size. So if you're interested in that, it's all linked in the description box below. I'll link this kit from the Hit Kit Club. Otherwise, let's go. Do you also find it hard to come back to a project that maybe you've taken a break from? This break definitely wasn't really purposeful. It's just other things kind of took my attention in my craft room and I got a little bit behind on my memory planning. I wasn't filming as many memory planning videos. And so this got a little bit behind. And so I was a little bit overwhelmed, if I'm being honest, to come back to it. Mostly because for something like this, for a scrapbook, something where there are dates involved, it feels like you have to sit down and catch up all at once. And even though I'm only about a month behind, um, that would have still taken a long time. And that same thing happens in any of our planners. Maybe you didn't feel like doing decorative planning for a month, and so you have an empty month in your calendar it can be a little bit intimidating to sit back down and do it. You can feel like maybe you have to uh, fill in all the missing dates. I'm here to tell you there are no rules. So I did decide to just start with the week that I had missed. I very easily could have just chosen the current week, the most recent one. There's no rules. Don't feel like you have to kind of conquer all of the catch up at once. I have seen a lot of people very successfully start with the week they're on for memory planning and then work both forwards and backwards to kind of catch up at their own pace. And I think that that is a great solution. Don't let the fear of being able to catch up on any kind of memory keeping be what keeps you from just enjoying the whole process of um, working with the supplies, working with the photos and documenting your story. Because I was just getting back into the swing of things, I decided to go for some of my tried and true techniques for memory keeping so that it would just kind of flow a little bit easier. One of those is torn paper. I love big pieces of torn paper in the background of my memory planning spreads. I think it sets a cool tone for the spread and brings in a lot of color just to start with. The other thing that I do almost all the time is mat my photos. So I do print my photos at home. I find that that helps me stay on top of my memory keeping. Maybe not in this particular instance, but normally being able to print them at home just allows me to print on demand so I don't have to wait for photos to get mailed to me or have to go pick them up. So that really helps me out a lot and then I don't worry about editing editing the photos a lot of people like to brighten their photos like to do a lot of editing for me that's just another step that I take that would kind of be a, a stumbling block if you will for getting started so I don't edit my photos I print them out and then I love matting them on beautiful scrapbook paper to bring in extra pops of color so now that I have all of the basics down on the page, the next thing I'm gonna do is figure out how I want to arrange my photos in memory planning specifically. If you're doing a vertical memory planner like this from the Happy Planner, um, there's kind of a couple ways to do it. You can line everything up perfectly in the columns for each day of the week, um, or you can kind of do a more scattered method, which is what I'm doing here. The photos are loosely near the actual date that they happen, but I have them kind of wonky-fied, I guess, if that's a real word, that's obviously not a real word, but I kind of have them a little wonky, a little um, off-skew or askew, if you will, um, just to create some interest there. I know that I'm going to have some journaling, probably not as much as if I were um, documenting 
closer to when these events actually happen, but I will have some journaling, so I'm keeping in mind where those journaling lines are gonna be. And I think it's fun to have them tilted. I would say most of the time, I have my photos straight up and down. I align them that way. So um, changing it up every now and then and uh, putting them a little bit um, off kilter, I think is a nice change as you're flipping through the memory planner. Once the photos are on the page, the rest of it kind of just flows. It's the fun part. It's the decorating with stickers and ephemera. In this particular case, I am keeping it simple. I'm using these cardstock stickers that came with this kit from the Hip Kit Club. Using kits makes it really easy. It takes away the second guessing of combining different supplies. All of these came in one kit. I know they're going to go to um, go together really well. Plus, using the cardstock stickers, you can see everything goes on nice, easy smooth and it's fun to combine some of these different elements a lot of times what I'm doing or what I'm looking for as I'm putting things on the page is a way to soften some of the jagged edges of the pictures so where pictures meet up um, where there's kind of some random blank space that is what I like to cover up and um, bring together the other thing I'm gonna do you're seeing with the word Fetty is I want to create a cohesive theme in this case I am using these stickers to do that because the word Fetty is going to occur throughout the whole page so you start to see a flow a consistency as you're looking across the page and that just makes it more pleasing to the eye to look at as a whole and it teaches your eye as you are working through the page as you're reading and looking at it it teaches your eye to look for certain elements in that in this case it is those little journaling moments with each picture and I think it does a good job of describing um, each picture and now let's just add a few little hearts this one came together really easily I was nervous I'm not gonna lie I was very nervous and I'm nervous still to do a little bit more catching up but I know I'm going to enjoy it um, once I get in the flow I think when you're returning to a project give yourself a little grace go back to to something you know a technique you know a format you know um, which is what I did and then once I get in the flow of this a bit more then I'll probably start taking a little bit more risks and stretching my creativity a little bit more I have my T ruler here just adding in the lines that I like to journal on you can always use uh, lined boxes something like that and then I just add my journaling across in this case I don't remember all of the little details of this week but I know some of the things and so on one side I'm just telling the story of um, my daughter and one of my sons and kind of the special bond they have and the things they like to do together when the other son is at gymnastics and then I'm telling the story of the lessons learned from youth sports on the right side of the page because I know that was a big sports weekend that didn't go quite as planned for all of my kiddos so just documenting that and um, how I appreciate all of the lessons that they are learning. That is going to be it for this memory planning spread. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell notification button. Let me know if you want to see more memory planner videos um, so that I can plan those more in the future. I will link all of the supplies that I used down in the description box below. You can always check the description box for all kinds of links. And then if you don't see something you're looking for, just leave me a comment and I'll be happy to help you find it. I wanna give a huge shout out to all of my patrons Patreon members. We're having a fabulous time. It's a ton of fun over there. Lots of extra content, lots of amazing people. So if you want to check out Patreon, be sure to check the description box as well. All right. I hope that you have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative.